News 5 at 6 starts now. This is a once in a lifetime event. The Eclipse and Final Four brought thousands of visitors to Cleveland this year. It was a great experience. I thought Cleveland did a wonderful job. And the Pan American Games and the Rock Hall inductions are still to come. It's a nice city, very nice. I'd like to come back and see more of it. But what if visitors have a hard time finding a place to stay as city leaders look to crack down on short term rentals? Airbnb says it saw a wave of people hosting for the first time during Eclipse weekend looking to cash in on those wanting to see the natural phenomena firsthand. Well, the home sharing platform also claims to have helped generate an estimated $1 billion for Ohio's economy last year. But we know short term rentals have also brought with them some issues. Over the past few years, we followed the push in the city of Lorraine to rein them in. We'll take a look at how that's going in just moments. But we begin with Cleveland's plan to do the same. News 5's Michelle Jarbo taking a closer look at what the ordinance would mean for those renting out their properties. Cleveland is trying again to crack down on short term rentals. We're talking about the houses and apartments that people list on websites like Airbnb. They appeal to visitors, investors and homeowners who need some extra cash. But in busy neighborhoods like Tremont, Ohio City and Detroit Shoreway, some neighbors are fed up with traffic, noise and house parties. Anyone can imagine if you lived next to a house where multiple days during the week there were huge parties going on, how that would deteriorate your quality of life. Carrie McCormick is one of two council members proposing new rules. It has been so frustrating that we've had limited resources and abilities to deal with that issue. Legislation introduced Monday would require owners and operators to get annual licenses, charge $150 a year for those licenses let the city revoke licenses for bad actors, and limit the number of short-term rentals in residential areas. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. On Tuesday, Airbnb host Mackenzie Marks was a little overwhelmed. It almost feels like the legislation wants us to not be here and to kind of push us out a little bit by making it more difficult to run our businesses the way that we do and by overcomplicating it, um, which is unfortunate. Council has struggled for years to find a way to regulate this industry. But McCormick says he's serious about moving this new proposal forward. Will everyone be happy with this? No, but I think we found a good balance. If the legislation passes this summer, it will take effect in the fall. Reporting from Tremont, I'm Michelle Jarbo, News 5. So in a statement, Airbnb says in part, that they welcome the opportunity to work with Cleveland on balanced rules that provide clarity for hosts and bolster local tourism. 